any community is at risk. Um, HIV spreads through sexual encounters and also through um, sharing needles and sharing blood. With the current opioid epidemic, we know that this does not spare any single demographic group. Every single demographic group is affected by the opioid crisis. There are people injecting drugs that are upper, middle, and lower class. And so we don't know which ones of our patients is involved in injecting and which are not unless we ask and unless we look for that and unless we screen. Also, it spreads by sex, and um, unless someone's not having sex, they're at risk of contracting HIV. No one can be 100% certain who their partner is having sex with. Every single person that we encounter that's having sex is at risk of contracting HIV, and every single person that we encounter, um, I would say from middle school on, is at risk of injecting with the current opioid epidemic. So unless we're looking, we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. And I would challenge those providers, are they willing to gamble their patient's life in that way? Screening's easy. It just takes a few minutes. Yeah, but that can change that person's life forever. By diagnosing HIV earlier, we know that once they're engaged in care, they can have a normal life expectancy. By diagnosing someone early, we know that we're preventing the spread of HIV to other people. So by detecting HIV early in our patients and our communities, we're protecting our patients and we're also protecting our communities.